Hello, we're back. This is Christy from 52 Hider 3D, continuing the modeling of the Stargate tutorial. Today we're going to be just making a few more things a little more realistic and maybe hopefully making it circular rather than just a segment. So, first thing we're going to do is you can see at the moment all these edges along here they just look a bit too clean and sharp and one dimensional so we're just going to add a little lip to them so we select all that and just extrude it inwards no no not we want Y and 0 0.006 I think will do that just gives it a bit more of an edge and then the same here extrude 0 0.006 oh but it went the wrong way sorry so extrude y.006 and negative there. Better. So now I've got that one done we can just um, well, oh, I think we can just leave those as they are. So it just, just gives it a little uh, nicer edge. Yeah that's better. So now let's just do a little work on here. If I bring up the reference image, F1 of the front, we've got various textured sections, and we're going to want to put these textured sections in later when we do the texturing. So we need to sort of carve out a space in the mesh for them to be in. So if we add in a loop cut here for these uh, knobbly bits and just yeah, put, leave that around there and then do another one out there and another one there and again here we've got two different sections we've got these dits here and then the zigzag so add a lip cut in oh not there in there okay save that and let's look at the back if anything there's even more detailing on the back so put a loop cut in there and I think that's about it okay so now we've got one segment of the Stargate modeled but we want to be able to make it circular and to do this instead of actually modeling each separate section or duplicating it we're going to be using a array modifier so we've already got a mirror and an edge split but we want an array modifier so add an array modifier and since there's nine chevrons on the stargate change the count to nine now, but that doesn't really work so what we need to do is add in an empty empty just plain axis at the center and rotate it by 40 degrees okay along the Y axis then we go back to here and uncheck relative offset choose object offset and select the empty from the list and see it makes it circular For some reason there must have been an error at the time of the modeling and it's uh, as you see created a the, the, the sections aren't quite wide enough 
So we're just going to need to make these their proper size. So just select the edge loop there. Change to 3D cursor uh, rotational point. Just extrude these and rotate them just so they're about the right space. Doesn't matter quite if they don't, don't quite match up because we'll be uh, merging them all later. Anyway, and while we're at it, I think this is too. It's just too thin. So let's grab both this. Um, you know, first, let's apply the rotation of scale just in case it hasn't worked before, and the same with this. And we'll just select them both and scale them along the y-axis uh, just a bit but you see uh, this isn't working terribly well so we're just going to need to again apply the rotation scale after we've done it okay and then let's add a modifier for the chevrons as well change it to 9 and we can just use the same object empty I'm just gonna rename this chevron this one main ring this one rotation okay let's see how this looking. I don't think we've applied the rotation scale of this one yet. Yeah, that's better. So let's just have a look in that in render view to see how that looks. And that's looking pretty nice. So now we've got the outer ring pretty much done. We're going to start on just the inner ring. It's got all the glyphs on it. So it's fairly simple. We're just going to add a circle, a line to view, and we want it to have 39 vertices, 39 because there's 39 glyphs, and we want each each face to be a glyph, so now we'll just um, yeah, go into edit mode, scale it up, just like that, and then bring it down like that and extrude it uh, is it extruding? oh we're in the wrong mode extrude and scale in why didn't that extrude? Oh, I think that's better extrude scale out then I should have got a mic too uh, sorry just talking to myself um, yeah so then we want to obviously grab move it just out like so might want to scale this inner loop up a bit and the outer loop in a bit just get rid of that reference image that I had okay so now we have an inner ring which we can give the Naquita material and this has, if you look, it has 39 separate faces. Now, we can either cheat and use a normal map to create the idea of the, uh, the glyphs, or we can actually model each individual glyph. So, choose what you will. I'm going to be using the just uh, modeling each individual glyph which will take a while but I'll uh, see you for the next episode for doing that um, yeah because that could take quite a while um, I don't think I'll be doing each one all the way through you'll just be having a time lapse but uh, I hope you get the idea Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe 
on YouTube and also like on Facebook. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.